Man, at the club, said I'm away from one of them. Okay, um, to make flow like I showed you, it's pretty easy. First, you need to get clips which are linking. So, for example, if you want to flow this with this, all right, like with this, um, I think it could work. Um, I already pre-composed my clip. This is like a Naruto clip, and I have then there the from Boruto where she punched someone. Um, yeah, so we gotta just cut it at the point where we need the clip so here um, like this so we have this um, okay uh, I think we need until here and okay like this um, okay so basically let me turn off the music real quick um, basically what you want is to like like to look at smooth but like flow and this is not clean all right so this is like too raw we need moving here we need impact frames here uh, impact frames means um frames where something happened like something strong so for example we could take this um all right this frame then move until we see this frame another frame where it moves so you can see here nothing happens just here something moves but that's not what we need okay so we remove this and move it to the left so we got something like this and then you already can see it looks way better but it's still not clean enough in my opinion so we got to tweak this now um, because you know um, for example you could not you cannot fix or this because it will look very very bad if you fix or this and fix or is for clips with small movement like decent movement like this all right this you could fix or so that's what we're gonna do um we're gonna search some small frames where not too much impact or too much movement is seen okay this is already too much so here's our cut so we're gonna fix our from here to okay these clips we're gonna fix our okay so then we're gonna like just cut it like this um then keyframe assistant sequence layer then we gotta just pre-compose it with Control shift and c and then we have this and this we can't fix or now so let me fix or this now so pre-compose again then add your um fixer okay Okay, I've added my Twixter now. This is my Twixter settings. Um, copy my settings if you want. Um, also, uh, there are a lot of uh, Twixter tutorials on YouTube. Just search for Twixter Flow Twixter tutorial, and there will like pop up a lot of tutorials. Okay, so now we're gonna see where the beat ends, so we can make another like link. So let me see real quick until where we could or should time wrap this. Okay, here's good. Yeah, here's good so let me time wrap it until there and then just do a graph like this yeah i already have a graph there just do a graph like this and now we need of course another impact frame at the end but that will come later let me see real quick how it looks Okay, it's good, but we need it a bit slower, so let me just do like this. Okay, this looks great. So now we need um, impact frames for the end, so, you know, after this, after this, we need a following clip after this, like, we need something go on with this. And I think normally you can always just use the last clips from here, so like this mm, maybe like this mm, it's too fast sometimes it's too fast so let me just okay i found a clip where we could so what we see now is this guy moves to the left or there is movement to the left so what we could do is use another clip where it moves to the left or where's like movement so 
um, you see Naruto's throwing his Rasengan or something to there, so it could match. Um, that's a point. You need to work a lot of impact frames and let it look clean or let it look um, smooth. And that's what we're gonna gonna do now. Um, so like this. Also, I don't fix or all my clips or use impact frames. For example, here, it's just a normal clip. Okay, so this is the normal clip. Wow. And what we're gonna do is work with impact frames. So, like this, boom, and I'll just go a bit mm, like this. So we have this, so it goes way faster. Okay, it's matched, perfect. this clip to be honest so let's just use okay so I think this is fine now I mean we can still change it but this is for now fine and also it's important to play around with flow so it's not always like just make it and see if it's good just play around and see until if something matches good okay let me just pre-compose this so we got it as one clip boom okay so these are the clips we have now and what we're gonna do now is to make it flow we can work now with uh, some effects and first let me start with the camera movement so the camera movement is to follow like the character or follow whatever what's happening so for example he punches to the left so you follow with your camera to the left as well and let me just do that okay create the position or the null and then just follow the camera like follow what's happening here and that's like um, see his hands let me also at scale so just follow what he's doing and just do like a graph like this okay perfect let me just Okay, now we have the camera movement. So, perfect. Let me see. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I hate this bug, bro. This After Effects bug is so annoying. Okay, here camera movement as well. For this clip, we really need to make good camera movement. Okay, now. Okay, now. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna improve the camera so for this I think it's better to zoom to her face or zoom to where she punched so she punched there and we're gonna like focus on that so like this you know I think this will look better as I said it's always in flow about to test things at the beginning and like play around Okay, so now I did the camera movement for this clip. What I did is, so this is normal, and I, so as you can see, he punches to the left. And what I did is to position it from left, so it comes from the left to the right, and it zooms in, so it looks like this. And let me show you how it looks. And now let's add some effect. Okay, um, now what we need is to add a uh, adjustment layer on here and we're gonna work with S underscore flicker. Flicker is my favorite effect when I do flow. Um, start in like, not the middle, or yes, start like 
some frames before the end, like some five or six or maybe seven frames, like like this, and then start with no, I will zero, and put it to like four or five or three. It depends which looks better, and then do a very very slow graph like this, um, and see how it looks. Okay, this already you can't even see a see a flick, like you can't even see the effect. So maybe like this is better. Okay, perfect. I got a flicker now. Now I need a one framer. Also, that's really important that you have good one framers. Just create a adjustment layer and put it to a frame and add PCC swish pan. It's my favorite effect. I really like when I do flow. Okay, now just play with the settings. Um, this is bugging for me as I see. Yeah, nice. The effect is bugging. Why is nothing happening here? Okay. Okay, to make this clip more flow, I cut two frames from here out, so this is how it looks normal. And to look at more flow, more impactful, more harder, more aggressive, I cut it, I cut some frames out. So, for example, here, and then you see like nothing happened here. So what I did is just move until he moves like this, also here nothing happened, and then like this. And you see of course here are some frames, mi some frames missing, so what you can do here is just add uh, opacity, so just like, I don't know, like just like this, opacity, boom, boom, and then you have like... And now it's way more impact, way more... It just looks way better, okay, than before. And it's just by removing two frames. Like, how crazy is this? Okay, so I know it's kind of weird now to understand, or kind of, like, weird, yeah? But what I did is just remove two frames from here. So, from from this to, like, this, it's way better. Like, I don't know, it looks way better. You will see now, you will, like, you will see now how better it looks, how good it looks now. Okay. So now we're gonna add more impact for this clip. As I said, we work a lot with adjustment layers and flickers. We're gonna add another S underscore flicker. Start with zero. Boom. Put it on four, for example. Like this. And make a slow graph like this. Wow. Wow. Okay, so another effect flow users also use very often is VCC fast lens blur. Okay. Start with zero keyframe error scale. Put it at the end to like 50.5 and use a slow graph. Not too slow, like this. All right, so now what I add is BCC fast lens blur and just start with zero and end like with 50. It gives like a slow blur and yeah, it looks pretty good in my opinion. Okay, so that's what we have now. Wow, one. I could now add way more like effects and overlays and it's could, you could for example also put like a eye flare on this and so much stuff but in my opinion this will take a bit too long and so to cut it now I will just show you now how to use sound effects. Okay for example here he gets hit like a hit a punch all right so we need a punch or hit sound effect and we need the impact okay we need the impact like a swing you see like he's swinging his arm so I'm gonna search sound effects for these now. Okay okay I just added now my own sound effects I um created um it's a sound effect I made. Also, if you all want sound effects, just join my Discord and bio. I will drop the sound effects pack there soon. Maybe it's already dropped uh, if you see this video. Okay, this is the sound effect. Okay, let me just put it more to like 4, minus 4 because it's kind of too loud. I need a better hit in my opinion, so let's add a hit. Um, okay. Well, let me see. Mm, it's a bit quiet, you cannot really hear it. Um, let's see if this one makes better and sounds better. I think I just have a small impact too. Okay, now let's just make this a bit quieter so you can hear the punch better. So let's make it to... Uh, yeah, minus 6 is better for me. Okay, I have just found a better punch and I think this one is way better. Uh, let me show you all how it sounds if I mix it, like just make this louder. And yeah, that's for it now. Um, let me show y'all. Wow. 
and yeah that's what i have made so far now thank you for watching and this is the result make sure to like subscribe and join my discord in the bio for the project file